We'll talk a little bit now about, about a more complex scheduling algorithm. In general, we've talked about uh, some metrics which, which measure the efficiency of algorithms, and we've introduced a few different algorithms in time. Today's operating systems incorporate many of the techniques that we've used, uh, or we've talked about, and that you've read in your book. Generally, a system has many cues, and when a job gets introduced into the system, and when I say job, I mean process with threads, they get scheduled to a certain priority queue. The scheduler, when it runs, just goes to the highest level queue that has a job, pulls that queue from the front of that job, executes that queue, that job, and when that job finishes, it puts it back in one of the queues. It may put it back in a higher priority queue, or it may put it back in a lower priority queue, or it may go back in the same queue. For instance, if it sees that the job is using a lot of CPU, it may say, hmm, uh, for fairness reasons, I'm going to drop the priority a little bit. And so the job may start up in this queue here. It may get moved down a few swaps after, a few priorities after it runs. The queues themselves may have different algorithms. Oftentimes, in the lower priority queues, where you have longer running jobs, the quantums are longer, so we can get a higher throughput. If a job is I.O. bound, the priority may be boosted. This can approximate shortest job first. If a job is interactive, uh, or maybe in the front of your screen, as in Windows, it could go into an interactive queue. So it gets the CPU when it wants the CPU. If it's a background job and doesn't require a lot of attention, it may go in a very lower priority queue. In this case, you have to worry about starvation. And so oftentimes, the system will run through the queues and see if any job hasn't run for a while. And if it has, it hasn't, it'll boost it, give it a starvation boost. So a lot of these algorithms work together to try to meet the best of these criteria. Which brings up the question, what's the most important thing to optimize for? We've talked about CPU utilization, which is the amount of time a CPU is busy. We've talked about wait time, which is the amount of time jobs wait to get the CPU. We've talked about turnaround time, the time from the entry of the job till it's finished. Throughput, number of jobs per unit time. Response time, how quickly the job responds. And fairness. Well, it all depends, which one's the most important, all depends really on what type of job it is. If it's a background job, response time is not important. Throughput is. If it's an interactive job like a game, response time is super important. All up, the, probably the three most important things are throughput, getting as much done in a unit time as possible, response time, making the job feel responsive to the user, and fairness, making sure that jobs don't starve over time. What you'll find is that these are in tension with each other. Higher throughputs often come at the cost of response time. Better response time sometimes hurt throughput. So balancing all these things uh, in a system uh, is a tricky situation that the scheduler deals with. Thank you.